You'd think during the time of the United Nations general debate that a president would prefer the podium to the pitch. Not the case with Bolivian leader Evo Morales, who laced up his boots Wednesday to captain his country's team at the Unite to End Violence Against Women's friendly football match. A game organized by the United Nations to highlight its campaign to end violence against women. It's an issue that's at the top of Bolivia's agenda, says the president. The Bolivian population knows we have implemented many policies to defend women and especially their participation in politics. Morales' side were opposed by a team of UN staff members and they arrived ready for the challenge, says team member Eddie Guo, who brought striker in training, Baby Taylor, along with him. We've seen some videos of the Bolivian team playing, so we're ready mentally. Fighting talk, but would it pay off? Kickoff and both teams showed off impressive prowess as points on both sides came thick and fast. But while these kinds of goals were all important to the game, globally the ultimate one is clear, says Michelle Bachelet, executive director of UN Women. We're sending a clear message to the world so that violence is unacceptable, that can be prevented, it can be eradicated, and we'll continue working very strongly on it. After a high-octane match, Bolivia scored a 10-4 victory over the UN and a shiny trophy. Though ultimately in this game there were no winners, just two groups united in bringing awareness to the campaign to end abuse against women, an aim that can only be won by working together. This is Alexandra King for United Nations Web TV.